Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. I'm here with Kai from Kai's Handcrafted Spears. So we're going to, what, go a little fishing? Diving, fishing a little dive. Boat? We'll see. Uh, it's a really nice day, so we're going to get out there, hopefully do a little bottom fishing, and uh, hopefully a little um, diving for either taco, fish, whatever. But all right, let's go. Holo holo. So we headed out. It's a beautiful day. Wind is actually picking up just a little, but we're out here trying to get some fish, some taco, anything just for my daughter's birthday party. Her 13th birthday is coming up, so, you know, she wanted Kona crab and some fish, so here we all go. Right, we got, let's see, aku eye lures and all kind. J21, <laughs> all, all whatever. Tyler lures, Big Island. See what works. Even these funky looking ones, this is from uh, Kiki Fishing. <laughs> but might as well try them, right? So here in Hawaii, bottom fishing is very popular. One, because it's very effective. Usually, you know, you just get out there, bang the bottom, that's what they call it, is you take about an eight ounce lead, depending on your drift. Right now it's drifting kind of, we're moving at a good speed, so I'm using a heavier lead, like an eight ounce lead, 30 pound test main with 30 pound test branches, hooked to like these small little hooks with curly tails, and I like to just bounce the bottom. And then, they hear the lead kind of hitting the bottom and they get curious, they'll come up, see the little fish dancing and jump all over it. But today it's really ugly, it's hard to see the lures, but I don't like to use bait a lot. So bait is really, really effective, but when you use bait, nine out of 10 times, uh, the hoggy or trigger fish will be all over it before anything else has a chance. And then you just end up tying line. So well, let's just try this for a little while and see what happens. So, okay guys, don't feel bad if you don't catch because we didn't catch anything but a suntan. <laughs> so we did this for hours and nothing. So we decided to pick up, we actually switched over to bait and all we caught is hoggy, so trigger fish. So then we said, hey, let's just shoot it the other side. We went to try to find some cleaner water, better fish, but nothing. But then we ran across this nice school of dolphins and I love seeing them. They're just so beautiful, a whole pot of them. So I love seeing them, just not when I'm fishing. Cause usually when they're around, nothing else will bite. So I just, we said, let's just maybe head in and do a little diving. Cause uh, Kai is one awesome diver and he's an awesome spear maker. So let's go on the inside and jump in the water. All right, Kai, let's get them gills wet. So here we are shooting some kole, otherwise known as the bacon of the sea here in Hawaii. What an awesome poo poo for my daughter's birthday party. So pick a couple of these up, hopefully get enough for everybody. Oh, by the way, if you guys find this Kai Spirit, this black carbon fiber one with a reggae wrap. Uh, yeah, that's mine and I lost it. It must have fell off the boat a couple weeks ago. So if you guys find it, man. If you want to hit me up and return it, that'll be super awesome. But, all right. But check out these Kai Spears. Look at this. The power he has on this and how accurate and just the, like how much power it packs is amazing. Check that out. It actually like, you can see the water bubbles just, <laughs> you know what I mean, compress. If you just want to know more about his Spears or just check him out, just follow him on Instagram at Kai's underscore handcrafted underscore Spears or Kai's Spear Shop on Instagram and you can check all his cool products out. He has uh, pretty cool colors and all different sizes. So go check him out. He's a good friend and makes great spears. All right, Kai, get get me some uh, fish for uh, my daughter's party. Huh? Thanks, Abba. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, check that out. So he actually hit this cole. The thing came off, but I guess because of there's so much power in the spear, it just basically stunned it or killed it right there. So he was able to track it down underneath the ledge and then find it. <laughs> Plus, I mean, these things are awesome. All right, guys, here we go. Get me a couple more, man. <laughs> Use one hammer. While Kai was shooting some coles, I saw this big pile of Pualus come in. I was like, oh, bro. But I could easily take a shot on this. But hey, tag a friend or send this to somebody that could shoot at the whole pile and still miss. <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> but so I'm just watching this pile because usually I don't want to shoot into this pile because usually there's big, big collars on the back side of it or even some big papillos come rolling through. So I'm just holding my breath, just watching this pile go back and forth. And uh, a big pile of collars did come in, but I wasn't able to get a shot on it. But ah, uh, it, that's how it is, right? So I was swimming back to the ledge. I was just cruising on the ledge and just checking out Mother Nature. I mean, look how beautiful this is. Sometimes you just gotta stop and smell the roses. In this case, just check out the beautiful wildlife. I like these black ones especially. They're just cool to watch how they just dart in and out of the reef. But while I was kind of checking these guys out, I kind of saw something off the ledge. So then I was like, oh, okay, there's some uhus, there's some other stuff. But I was like, you know what, I'm gonna shoot a Roy or I'm gonna shoot a Tape, a Toa or something. Just help clean the reef, right? Get rid of some of these invasives. While I was diving down, I saw this huge, I thought it was an Ala'ihi. Ormond, big Mimpachi, but it's the biggest available I ever saw, like just diving off the ledge like this. And lucky enough, I had my three prong on the side and I was able to just snipe him from the top. I mean, I'm telling you, this is like one of the best ones I ever got. Check this bad boy out. I'm like, oh, right on. So look at this. Kai Spears, man. Check him out. <laughs> Yo, here we go, Kai. How we did? Pretty good, not bad. Not bad for murky water. We couldn't even see half the time. So, here we go. Check this out. Got some nice poilus and this is my personal best of veil veil. Look at that. Thing is huge. Biggest one I ever shot. And tree pronged. Got this on the Kai Spear right there. Thing is mean. She go. She. All right. So since we caught all this awesome fresh fish, I know Nomi's party's tomorrow, but I'm not gonna waste these fish. You catch fresh fish like this, you know what? Best thing you can do is eat it that night. So we're gonna just uh, fry up this avail veil. I'm super stoked and proud of this one. And a nice veke that I shot. So I was like, hey, let me just fry these up. Little garlic salt and pepper. Toss in a little cornstarch and give them a fry. Mm, what an awesome, awesome dinner. And then tomorrow we're gonna go party prep. So make some nice raw corner crab poke. Brook them out. I'll give you the secret into all of that. And we'll have some fried cole. Alright, go check it out. Here we go, baby. We have our fresh fish just fried. Now what we're gonna do is just add a little show you to it. Oh yeah, there you go. And we're gonna actually top it with a little cold ginger chicken sauce. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. All right, here we go. This is Nomi. Uh, you know the pualu I shot? I told her, hey, we'll cut it up, make it into poke. And I told her, you're doing it all on your own, right? And you did it all on your own, cut it all up. And then uh, tell us what, what kind of poke this is. Uh, this is um, Puala poke. Yeah, but tell, what did you put inside? So I put um, inagi sauce, shoyu, sesame oil, and choy oil. Wow, Nomi. Cool. Actually, the unagi sauce is actually really good. It adds a, adds a level of umami and sweetness to it. So that was very cool, Nomi. I can't believe you came, you came up with that yourself. Mm -hmm. Alright, yes sir. Uh, good job Nomi. Alright, here we go. Let me grab another chunk. Look at that. Alright, 
So this is the key. You know that cold ginger chicken sauce that you use for cold ginger chicken? You can buy the uh, ginger man spread too, that's super good. You just put that on your fish like that, and oh my goodness. What a game changer, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Try that with any fried fish. I'm telling you, people are going to lose their mind. That is so delicious. Pohalu unagi poke. Let me try. Mm. Oh, it's good, Nomi. Super good. You should be proud of yourself. Good job. Good job. Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but really good. All right, cheers guys. Mm. <laughs> All right guys, let's go prep for Naomi's 13th birthday and make some raw corner crab poke. Here we go. But first, you're gonna have to know how to make my secret salt blend. Here you guys go, from me to you. Hey, hello guys. I'm gonna show you how to make my secret salt rub. So you can use this on anything from um, how I'm gonna do with the coles to even when I use the smoker. It's gonna be super good. So you just start off with turbinar sugar. I'm gonna use all eco parts. That's a real fat sugar. There you go. Turbinar sugar, a lye sea salt. Oh yeah, Hawaiian salt. And then add a little chili pepper flakes for heat. Give this a good mix. Here we go, raw crab poke. So all we did is clean it, quarter it, and now we're gonna use my special blend right here. So just FYI, just make sure you marinate this for at least four hours, but it's best overnight. That way the salt has a time to melt and really penetrate and soak into the crab meat. This gives it, imparts a nice flavor and softens up the crab. Oh yeah. Look at that, fresh cole. Here we go. Oil's warming up and let's get it. I don't know why, but is it just me or? Every, every dude has to do this. <laughs> hey, if you, the thing don't click, not working, huh? <laughs> nice. Woo! Look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Smoke tries it. So like I said before, every year is a blessing. Every year is a gift from God, so you know, especially if your daughter's 13th birthday, I can't ask for anything more but this good food and be able to share it with friends and family. And again, from my ohana to yours, I just truly appreciate you guys sharing this moment with me and my proud daughter. 13! Yeah. Got a teenager in the house. Oh boy. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta get you on, son. I mean, chief. <laughs> Alright guys, so my daughter, I asked her what you want for your birthday. She said, I want kole and kona crab. The, not the easiest stuff to get, but successful mission. I got both, so I'm super stoked for her. Let's try this. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. So this is like fish and chips, super crispy. This is what you want. And kona crab time. Woo! This is the sea, well, I guess, sea jelly. That's what I was Mmm. Oh. Mmm. So good. Should we give me a bite? Mm. No, just kidding, I don't want it. Here you go. <laughs> 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 this is on the deep end of the spectrum, but it is so good. If you know, you know. Corner time. Mmm. Mm. How is it? 
Yeah. Right. All right, here we go. Kona crab. My daughter asked for Kona crab, so here it is. Here's Shad eating Kona crab. She look quite peach. For me. <laughs> Looks like jelly. Mm. It's it is. Okay, guys. Here's your favorite part: the extras and the bloopers. Here you guys go. <laughs> Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Oops. <laughs> oh, look at that. Pound Town. All right, who guys? Who wants the eyeballs? All right, that's the jelly from the eyeball. All right. <laughs> like it? Yeah. <laughs> Your finger's not in the way. No. <laughs> it's not in the way. Like the sandbar. Whatever. Yeah, because we're all like cruising. Mm. And, like, and let's go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, you gotta do it. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I mean. Mm, yeah. Oh, suck that. Mm. <laughs> oh, I dare you right Stop there. It. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you guys for joining us on another episode of On Fire Fishing and for celebrating Nomi's 13th birthday. We truly do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you guys take care of yourselves and take care of others. Until next time, catch you on the next one. Aloha, guys. <laughs>